Yesterday I talked about your story and how valuable your story is. And the question ultimately is what story are you writing? What are you living? What's it look like? I've had some say to me, well, how do I do that? Because, you know, I've not studied the Bible. I'm not, don't have degrees in it. I'm not, uh, I, I'm not really, I'm sort of clueless and stuff. Well, let me give you a thought because this is an important one to me and I think significant. The story of the woman at the well, Jesus went and spoke to. And in that moment, that woman went back to her community and shared what Jesus had just done, just done. Not a week before, not a month before, not two years before, but just then. What she shared was her story and it was so profound that people came out of the village to meet this Jesus that she talked about. That's the kind of story God is looking for out of us. What has God done in your life today? Share it. There's many stories about people in the scriptures that had no, well, no theological degrees, no education in the scriptures, and yet God used them mightily. I think of just the disciples themselves. Jesus called them out of, well, some of them were fishermen. One was a tax collector. They weren't people who were versed in the scriptures. Sure, they knew them. Sure, they'd heard of them. Sure, they probably went to temple. But they weren't the Levites. They weren't the Sadducees. In fact, the religious people of the day, Jesus, well, Jesus had words about them. And they weren't good words. Why? Because they knew the truth. They knew the scriptures. And they didn't preach really what God has called them to preach. In fact, they're the ones who killed Jesus. So when you think about your story, don't think about it in terms of theological words and that kind of stuff. Just live your life. You know, it ought to be that if your life is focused on the kingdom of God, then you ought to live like a child of the kingdom of God. It ought to be evident in your life. There ought to be things that would convict you in a court of law that you are who you say you are. That's the kind of story that resonates with other people. I've had people actually say, I can tell you believe what you say. Isn't that what God is asking of all of us? Think about that today, would you? Hey, until next time, God bless.